And next at 9, Taylor Swift is not on the 49ers side this week. We all know that. But her fans may help make it buying a football ticket a hell of a lot easier. And after decades of grief, a sense of closure after Hayward police solved two cold case murders, we hear from one of the victim's sons. Thank you so much for watching. We have headlines and more headlines and weather in minutes here on Pix Plus. tonight on the primetime edition. I cannot express my gratitude enough. Closure after decades of grief, two cold case murders in the East Bay solved. The family reacts. Plus, the state stepping in to help with the crime surge in the East Bay. Families of crime victims weigh in. Justice for families and, you know, a different um, outlook for the city that he was born in and um, lost his life in. A few leftover showers across the Bay Area today, but those are now fizzling out this evening, and we get to enjoy, how about this, a dry stretch of weather as we head into the weekend. Details in the first alert forecast. A growing problem for big-ticket events like seeing the 49ers in the Super Bowl. Pal fans of this week's anti-hero, Chiefs fan and music superstar Taylor Swift could be coming to Red and Gold Fans Rescue. Home of Super Bowl 58 between the 49ers and the Chiefs. This is KPIX, CBS News, Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Devin Feely. These are tonight's primetime headlines. The Department of Justice says no charges will be filed against President Biden despite finding that he retained and mishandled classified material when he was a private citizen. The documents were found in an office and a garage in Biden's Delaware home after his time as vice president. A scathing special counsel report still concluded that charges were unwarranted, even if they could be filed against a sitting president. If you're not already in the habit of bringing reusable bags to the store, you might want to start in case California bans plastic bags altogether. A new bill was just introduced in, in Sacramento would outlaw those thick plastic grocery bags that recently replaced the thinner ones. The San Diego Democrat who proposed it says despite the bags being reusable and recyclable, most people aren't really doing either. If the ban passes, it would take effect in 2026. A massive cleanup effort is underway in Southern California now that the rain has finally stopped. The nonprofit Direct Relief is providing medical supplies in Santa Barbara, Ventura, and San Luis Obispo and surrounding counties. The top concern is helping people with chronic illnesses. The Red Cross is also providing shelter, food, and emotional support. And taking a live look outside now at San Francisco, let's go ahead and get a check of our first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagen. Devin, after wet conditions yesterday, we return to largely a mix of clouds and sunshine across the Bay Area today. Our time-lapse view this afternoon, looking to the east from Salesforce Tower over the Bay Bridge and towards Oakland, shows that cloud cover becoming, well, a little more plentiful as we headed through the afternoon. And the clouds eventually did yield a few showers, but the last of those showers now fading.